In this video, I'm gonna show you how to have this color splash effect with the poster behind this text. Let's get started. Now to create this effect, go to file menu and select new document and keep size 1920 by 1080 at resolution 150 pixels standard HD you can name the document color graphics hit ok so first thing you want to do is tap in the text so head to the toolbar and select T create your text box and type color in capital or small whatever you like adjust your text box and now select the move tool make sure this color layer is selected now hit command T and adjust the text so as to cover the whole canvas yeah it looks pretty good now we'll add the image in file go to file menu hit open and head over your image is placed then it's here that's cool now select the move tool and drag and drop this image in first file you may have to adjust it a bit Now select the first layer, head over to layer menu and select this create clipping mask. If you want to learn more about clipping mask, you can check out the tutorial on the right side. In that video, I have explained everything about clipping mask you get to know. So you can check that out. Here we go, now our image is behind the text. You can adjust the image wherever you want. So as to look good. Now the basic effect is done but it looks pretty boring. So now we'll make the background interesting, double click it and unlock it, go to gradient overlay, select the first default option and hit reverse so as to have a darker part outside and glowing part inside. Now we'll change the colors to dark grey, from dark grey to black, yeah that looks cool and hit ok. Now select your text layer and press Ctrl J so as to have a copy of this text layer just in case if we screw something up. Now turn the original layer off, select your colors copy layer and head over to rasterize layer style. Now head over to your brush menu and open this brush palette. I have the download link for this brush styles in the description below so you can download it from there. Then select this 353 stamp sample brush. You can adjust the size as you want, we'll keep it about 350 pixels so let's say 332 pixels and now start rendering feel free while using other brush styles it depends on your personal choice like how you want to render it and that's pretty much it now to enhance this image you can give some effect for that we'll create a new adjustment layer and select levels and hit ok and you can adjust the levels as you want we'll put the first slider to 15 the middle one to 1.0 and the third one to 20 that looks great and make sure your adjustment layer is on the top so as to make it visible if it is below the layer 1 or the color text layer it won't be visible so make sure to put it on top that's pretty much about having this color effect i hope you have learned something from this video just hit that like button if you did and make sure to subscribe to this channel by pressing that B button and check out the videos on the right side for more photoshop tutorials and video editing tutorials. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Hasta la vista. Peace out.